Hey everyone, this is Andrew Ty, and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be talking about surprise native ARM macOS ports for games like Rollercoaster Tycoon 3 and SimCity 4, as well as other titles coming from the porting house Aspire. So you might have heard of this company called Aspire. They are one of the main porting houses which port games to platforms like macOS as well as Nintendo, Switch and Linux. They're responsible for multiple high-end macOS ports like Civilization 6, Star Wars Jedi Knight 2 and also Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 1 and 2. And they've also been in the news lately because their remake of Knights of the Old Republic 1 has now been taken out of their hands. So it actually comes as quite a surprise that Aspire have decided to port some of their older titles and make them native ARM on Apple Silicon Max. And this is quite surprising because it's now nearly two years since the first M1 Apple Silicon Mac was released and these ports haven't been touched since then so it's really coming out of the blue especially because these games are on the older side. So today I'm going to show you how to get games like Rollercoaster Tycoon 3 working natively as well as talking about some other options for rollercoaster type games on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac. So if you haven't subscribed already then please consider subscribing and you'll be able to keep up to date with the latest Mac gaming news. So news about this update comes as part of Aspire support pages, which I'll leave a link to in the description, which stated that Rollercoaster Tycoon 3 has now received an update and is available to use as a beta. We also have the announcement that SimCity 4 Deluxe Edition is also going to be updated as well. So here I'm going to give a quick guide on how to get the native ARM version of Rollercoaster Tycoon 3 working on Apple Silicon Mac. So specifically going to be using the complete edition of Rollercoaster Tycoon 3. The Platinum edition isn't compatible and this is a different version entirely due to licensing rights. And once you have the game installed we can move on to the next step. So once the game's installed we're going to control click on the entry in the library and then click on properties. And then we're going to find the beta section and then click on that and then enter the beta access code which is the word Apple Silicon one word. And then we're going to press the check code button. Then we're going to click the blue button in order to opt into the beta. So now you can see the game is now entered into the Apple Silicon native beta. And then you're going to see in the library that a further download has started and this is going to be the Apple Silicon native ARM update. And now that the update is complete you can see that from the library entry it says that we're in the Apple Silicon beta. Now we're free to launch this new updated game. So here we've got the game running in the background and you can see from Activity Monitor that this is an Apple Silicon ARM application and that there is no Rosetta 2 code or Intel code being used in this game now. So now we've got the completely functioning version of Rollercoaster Tycoon 3 working on my MacBook Pro with the M1 Max chip. So personally for me this game is a little bit rough around the edges. It doesn't quite have the charm of say Rollercoaster Tycoon 2. And thankfully that game can be played on Apple Silicon Max using the engine OpenRCT2 which is a source port of the original game that works great on Apple Silicon hardware with full native ARM support as well as plenty of quality of life fixes. To find out how to do this then please check out the link at the top of the description for my video tutorial. If you're interested in more modern roller coaster tycoon type games you have alternatives like Parkitect which is more of an indie title and you also have the game Planet Coaster which is a much higher budget much more modern version of roller coaster tycoon. In fact it's made by the same developer Frontier who made the re-release of roller coaster tycoon 3 and even though this is an Intel title running through Rosetta 2, it runs great on Apple Silicon Max. So Aspire are also set to release a version of SimCity 4 Deluxe Edition. There isn't any indication about when this might get released. However, in the meantime, if you wanted to play SimCity 4, it still works great as an Intel game running through Rosetta 2. And once the native version gets released, I'm sure I'm going to make a video about it then. Anyway, it's great to see all of these older ports get the love and attention that they deserve. More often than not, Mac ports get abandoned after their release. And it's rare to see these games get updated for modern hardware. Anyway, let me know what you think about these releases in the comments. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.